A lounge owner is murdered days after celebrating his birthday in the same bar. Detroit police are trying to find the person who assaulted Mike Webb, leaving him to die over the weekend. New video shows the man police say broke in and then fought Webb. Jermont Terry is live on East Grand Boulevard in Mount Elliott where this crime happened. Jermont, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly. Now, the owner came here after something triggered the alarm. That something turned out to be someone. Now, the owner, he went straight to the front door to check things out. But police say had he walked around the premises, likely he would have seen the damage where the guy came in. You see where things are boarded up there? Police say that's where the burglar, now murderer, entered. El Capri Lounge is considered a pillar in this east side community. Anybody that's been around or, or been here, they've been back. That's why it's so troubling for Walter Duke to learn his dear friend Mike Webb died inside the neighborhood bar he operated. Unbelievable, you know, that now he's gone. I mean, just Wednesday, we were having a conversation. Surveillance video shows Mike walking into the lounge around 4.30 Saturday morning, but he did not leave out alive. He came down here because the alarm came off, went off. The cameras caught this guy breaking in, more like dropping down after prying his way through a brick wall that allowed access to a crawl space. Once inside, you can see him lurking around for cash. The video isn't the clearest, but he turns once, providing a decent look at his face. Police say Mike encountered this robber. In the heat of the moment, you know, there was a confrontation. The scuffle isn't on camera, but you can see the guy run out of the front door, leaving Mike to die from his injuries to his head. It wasn't worth his life. Whatever it was that you wanted, it wasn't worth his life. Mike stayed on the floor from 4.30 that morning until employees found him at 9 o'clock that night. I employ whoever did this to, like, turn yourself in. This was a really good guy. He didn't, he wouldn't hurt anybody. Nine times out of ten, if somebody broke in here, they've been here before. And tonight, police are exploring that option. Nothing is off the table. But whoever broke in and caused these bricks to be removed, they say they likely were either a customer and or a former employee because they knew how to finagle their way once in that crawl space. Of course, if you know anything, contact Detroit police or call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live on the city's east side, I'm Jermont Terry, Local 4. All right, and that number, 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Okay, Jermont, thanks.